Hello, I'm Erin Garcia, Director of Exhibitions here at the California Historical Society. Welcome to our new exhibition, San Francisco Photographs by Minor White. Today, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the show. Here we go. Okay, not that quick. Let's start at the beginning. Minor White moved to San Francisco in 1946 after serving a tour of duty in the Pacific. He found the city in the midst of an economic and population boom that started during World War II. Ansel Adams recruited White to teach at the California School of Fine Arts, today's San Francisco Art Institute, which was full of students getting their education on the GI Bill. The photographs on view here were part of White's never finished series, City of Surf, a project that eventually grew to some 6,000 negatives. The idea was to create an extensive catalog of San Francisco, from the wharf to the zoo. The City of Surf series is considered uncharacteristically documentary in comparison to the more introspective work for which White is better known. His San Francisco photographs are the observations of a person walking in the city with no agenda, a flaneur or stroller open to chance discoveries. White found San Francisco at an optimistic moment, and for the most part, his composite portrait of the booming post-war city is brightly lit and energetic. Identical, newly built houses in the Inner Sunset District are as ship-shape as the servicemen and their families who might inhabit them. Everywhere we see signs of growth. Workers pour cement, repair streets, and make deliveries. Crowded displays of merchandise were also part of the urban spectacle. White took inspiration from the poetry of Walt Whitman, who wrote in City of Orgies of the temptations of Manhattan's bright windows with goods in them. White found hints about the city's mood and, sometimes, humor in signs and billboards. What tension we perceive is mostly between old and new, the run-down, outdated Victorian metropolis undergoing a major transformation. White allied himself with the straight photography movement of an earlier generation of photographers who championed a modernist aesthetic of sharp focus and visual forthrightness. Like them, White was concerned with the graphic disposition of elements inside the frame. But where his predecessors celebrated modernity, White seems more ambivalent. For instance, in Chinatown, he found the demolition of buildings aesthetically interesting, yet his photographs neither lament the ruins nor applaud the forward march of progress. White was able to combine abstract compositions with socially astute observations. Though he primarily focused on architecture, White did not ignore the city's inhabitants nor their social realities. His photographs noted the city's changing demographics, such as a new class of downtown office workers, young women, and more ethnically diverse neighborhoods. White captured the city's layered history in images of African Americans in the Fillmore District, a neighborhood previously home to Japanese Americans who were incarcerated during the war. By the time he left for New York in 1953, White had created an extensive catalog of San Francisco, on the cusp between the city that came before and the city we recognize today. All of the photographs you've seen today are part of a collection of several hundred that Minor White gave to the California Historical Society in 1957. Thank you for joining me today.